Art Rocks is made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Hello, thank you for joining us for Art Rocks with me, James Fox Smith, publisher of Country Roads Magazine. Allow me to introduce a woman whose marketing chops led her all the way to Fifth Avenue in New York City before finally bringing her to Alexandria, Louisiana. Veretta Garrison is happy to admit that she didn't know quite what she was doing during those early years in New York, but she sure knows what she's doing now. Come and see. I'm an entrepreneur. And by that I mean uh, an artist who does business. Ever since I was four years old, I would say that's when it was noticed that I was an entrepreneur because my product was lemonade. I developed different interests and finally art. I create texture by building, by building a surface. So for example, this piece over here, there are a lot of different elements that I lay on the canvas before I actually put color to it. I've used different kinds of papers, different kind of medium that are usually based out of the material acrylic. And that acrylic can be made by the chemicals that they use to cause these kinds of textures. Contrary to what we're taught as little people, don't touch this, especially if it's pretty, don't, uh, don't touch it. In my mind, it should be touch it because then you'll experience what it is you're seeing and you'll really understand what it is you're seeing. I think about how I want it painted, the colors I want, and then maybe building on the color, the different kinds of color that keep adding to get the final color that you see. Most of my work is abstract and from the different abstract patterns and designs and colors, I say, okay, someone would like that on their sofa because their sofa has some pink in it. So this would look good on that sofa. Or maybe there's a, some artwork on their wall and there's some blue. I will probably do some paintings that have those colors in them because to me color fitting with each other is very important to make sense out of what it is you're seeing. I did a lot of collages. From that I say oh wow this is a good idea. This would make a great pillow or this would be great as the back of a chair uh, or any other kind of product that I think people would be interested in having uh, for themselves. It could be fabric for you to make for clothing. This design is called Zydeco Nation. Since everybody down here loves their colors and the Mardi Gras and the Fleur de Lis and all the gumbo, all these different things, we're all about where I'm living now. I said, well, this is something that people would like. There's a pillow, and I call that Blues Nation. And if you look on there, you'll see B.B. King, you'll see Elvis Presley. When I first came to Alexandria, and I looked down, and I saw the manhole cover. I said, wow, look at this manhole cover. This manhole cover is beautiful. and then I did some research and found out how the British 
did rubbings of graves. And that's what I did. And that's the original up there. And then I put the colors. And from that, I created other kind of paraphernalia, pillows and boxes and other things. Other people are what I call my team because if you're trying to win or create or accomplish something, you need a team. You can't do everything well and do it all by yourself. With this bench, I start with the base. One of my team members is a expert in wood. So I talk and discuss with him what the item is and how I want it configured. And I usually make some kind of little sketch. Nothing that makes any sense to anybody but him and me. Uh, and then he builds that base. And from that base, I start thinking about color and texture. And the texture of this, if you can see in the front with all the little designs, that's from different kinds of paper. Paper that I purchased and they're from all over the world, the pieces of paper, literally. Handmade paper, because I do a lot of paper that is actually made by using different kinds of products. I think about how I want it painted, the colors I want, and then maybe building on the color the different kinds of color that keep adding to get the final color that you see. That's me painting. This table, again, was created by the same gentleman who did the bench. I usually do the same kind of tables or the same kind of benches, even though they may not appear the same because the applications and the colors and the textures that go to it will give it a different appearance. I will sell you anything that you have money for <laughs> because I'm an entrepreneur. And the more I interact with a person, the more I can sense what it is they'd be interested in, what kind of lifestyle they have, what they do, what gives them pleasure, if they have small children, how that fits in their room, or if they're a LSU fan, then I know that they want something that has more purple in it. So I have to do a lot of reading and understanding of not only my art, but those who are going to live with the art. I lived in New York when Nelson Mandela got out of prison and he came to the United States on a tour. And they were looking for artists who could come up with a product that his tour could take around the country and get money from that. And they chose some of the designs that I came up with. This is one of my favorite t-shirts uh, because you have the word Mandela and down here you have a mantla and it's almost like a flip of the letters. And a mantla is what the tribe that Mandela belonged to, the Kosas, when he came out from prison and he was on the balcony and then the, all the people started yelling, uh, Mandela, Amantla, and Mandela, Amantla. And so I put it in the t-shirt and then did it in the black and white.